What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on my channel, on my YouTube, on my channel, on my video, on my hmm, okay? Um, thank you for all the support. I really appreciate it. Um, I think that for this video, I think by the time I'm recording in advance because of Thanksgiving, so, um, yeah, so I think that for Thanksgiving, or that for this video, we probably have hit 75k, so, um, the link to my last team will be in the description down below, so you can see the full export of that. Let's check out the EVs, check out the natures and all that stuff. And then I believe the next battle video that I'm going to be doing is going to be using my own team. This is a team that I borrowed. The team that you see on screen currently is a team that I, um, again, took from Tailpoke, who uh, I really uh, enjoyed. I really enjoyed using their last team. So I wanted to try out a rain team that they built as well because I had a lot of fun. Um, and this one looked cool with Band, Ferrothorn, Scarf, Guardi, Assault, that's Ludicolo. Um, I thought that stuff was cool. So. Yeah, um, I think that's all I want to say. If you want to use the team yourself, you can see the link on screen. This is not my team. Um, you can find a, a link down below uh, the original trainer as well and the original builder so that you, you can check out their blog. Definitely recommend that. You can see more of the thought process. Um, but yeah, I'm really I'm really enjoying playing with all these different teams as well. Again, this is a team that I haven't, um, just like the last battle video that I did, this is a team that I did not build myself and that I haven't looked super in-depth at. And so... Um, I'm kind of going to be learning as I go as well. I'm sure I'll make mistakes. I think rain is really interesting. I don't think it's been figured out exactly how to do it optimally yet, but it's also so early on. The rules aren't even officially out yet. So, um, yeah. So, I think it makes sense that no one's really figured it out yet. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I think this team is cool. I... Like, I would like to see more of a balanced rain. I think that if rain's going to be good... It's just tough with Pelipper, honestly. Like, it's tough with Pel Pelipper and it's tough with Ludicolo needing to... Oh, that's interesting. Um, but stuff with Ludicolo needing to, like, reset its own weather. So this is a sun team, um, which is interesting for sure. Uh, Ninetales can overwrite my rain, which is a problem. Let's go ahead and check out Erascuta's moves. Poison jab, close come. I kind of leave with Berescuta here, I think. Um, I don't want Ferrothorn, I think. Do they have Intimidate? They do not. So is looking really scary. Um, I definitely want to bring Pelibur to this, but I feel like I want it in the back. I think I'm going to do... I could lead Guardi, but Guardi's really not that great here. So I think I'm going to do uh, Barrascuta, Ludicolo with Pelipper, and it does feel kind of wrong to, to lead Pelipper. Okay, maybe I shouldn't do that. I could also do Barrascuta. Hmm. Who do I want in the back? I, I probably need more for... I mean, I could bring Ferrothorn. It's choice... With choice band Ferrothorn, it's actually not the worst spring. What are the moves? Gyroball, Power Whip, Iron Head, Knock Off. I'm, I'm worried about the Duraludon, but I don't think that... I don't think that I have that much for it in general. Yeah, I don't really have much for it in general. Hmm. I'll bring Ferrothorn. I feel like that's okay. I've actually seen this team before. I don't know if it's the same player or if it's just a team that's, like, floating around right now. But it's an interesting kind of dual weather with Mamoswine and, um, and Duraludon. It's interesting for sure. I don't generally like dual weather because the team can get in the way of itself, but um, we'll see. Okay, Pelipper Ludicolo is the lead. That's interesting. Whereas I lead Ludicolo and um, Berescuta. So Berescuta is super fast, which is nice. Um, Z Poison Z poison raises special attack, which is interesting. Um, I think I want to Poison Jab into Ludicolo here. I doubt it's Focus Ash, and I do believe that I, that should take it out. If it doesn't take it out, I could be in trouble. If it doesn't take it out, then I'll lose my Berescuta, and then I'll lose to... That could be bad. Oh, well. I think that Berescuta is really strong, so I'm going to go for Fake Out into Pelipper, try and break a Focus Sash, and then he goes for Fake Out into my Berescuta. That's fine. Oh, it's Life Orb. Oh, okay, that's great. Yeah, that's great. My Ludicolo goes for Fake Out. That's awesome. What I think is probably going to happen here is... Let's see. I'm definitely going to Poison Jab the Ludicolo, and... I think I'm going to fire off an Energy Ball into Pelipper. I'm a little worried about Tailwind, but I think I have the tools to stall it out. I could go for Close Combat as well, but Poison Jab is slightly stronger. Um, the one thing is that Barrascuit is really frail, so that could be bad. Um, I, mean, I don't know the EVs on this team either, and because I'm a Solvest, I have a feeling I might not be max speed. So, kind of what I'm thinking here is, I mean, maybe maybe Dynamaxing Barrascuit would have been better there, and given... Oh, that could have actually been cool. I, I think what I should have done there is Dynamax to, 
Barascuda gone for Poison Jab with Life Orb, then boosted Ludicolo's special attack and hoped that Ludicolo could KO Pelipper, but the thing is that I was worried about, I'm not sure how much Poison Jab is going to do if Ludicolo Dynamaxes, I have a feeling it won't KO. So I really didn't want to like blow my Dynamax there for no reason, especially because, no, okay, it should, this should definitely kill. Let's see. Ludicolo's gone, that's good. Um, I still have Pelipper Ferrothorn in the back. I could lose one of my Pokemon here, but not, not obviously not both. I actually would probably rather take a Hurricane than... Oh, we just crit. Oh, that, that's interesting. <laughs> Very cool. Now, if they have Charizard in the back, I'm pretty sure that it's... Um, I'm pretty sure that it's Scarf. So if there's Charizard in the back, I'll probably just switch in... Okay, Duraludon and Ninetales, I guess. Or Mamo? Who is it? Who is it? Mamo, okay. Not entirely sure what to make of this. Um... I think I'm just going to protect with Barascuda, because that's really my best answer to, um, that's really my best answer to, to Duraludon, and I'm going to go for Muddy Water here. I'm not sure if, um, Duraludon is physical or special, but firing off Muddy Water lets me chip it a little bit, it lets me miss a lot, um, I could lower accuracy, which would be good, though I don't think I'm going to get that, um, it's interesting that Ludicolo gets Muddy Water now. This music is so good. Yeah, I feel like Muddy Water is just like a solid play. Like, it gets chip on both Pokemon. It lets me potentially scout for a Dynamax move. I never saw Barascuda has like a little mustache. Did you see that? That's super funny. I really like Ludicolo. I'm glad I'm glad he's in the game. <laughs> yeah, Barascuda honestly just seems like terrifying. I'll be completely honest. It seems like a really scary Pokemon. Jump, jump. Look at his mouth, dude. So, okay, if we had known what my opponent was going to do, if we predicted that he was just going to attack with both, then Dynamax Poison Jab would have been better. This should be Duraludon, I think. That's part of the reason I wanted to protect first, because I wanted to see which one it is. It could be Mamo to try and overwrite the rain. No, it's Duraludon. So, Gigantamax is currently not allowed, but I think it should be. Or I think it will be, sorry, because the rules are not officially out. I think that's the right play. You need Duraludon to survive here if you want to win the game. Um, I don't know... Uh, I don't know that much. I don't know if this thing is physical or special. Muddy Water comes out. We do miss on the Mammoth Swine, which was exactly what I expected. Instead, we're going to do almost... We're actually, we're going to do a lot. Give me the accuracy drop. Come on. Ice Crash comes out. That's into booty. Okay. We could definitely lose this. Okay, he crits me in return. What's Drake of his... Or what's on... Oh, no. Ah, that was a mistake. Because now... Now my attack has dropped, which is a problem. Okay, how do we beat this thing? I should have... I should have Dynamaxed Ludicolo there, I think, in hindsight. I didn't expect to get one shot by Mamoswine, to be honest, but... Um, I was a bad play. I could Dynamax and fire off a close combat. I think I just want to switch to Ferrothorn and Scald. I'm gonna switch I want because I feel like I can one v one the the Duraludon, but I don't know if I can one v one the Mamo. Mamo just kind of freaks me out. I I think also I don't know about the speed tiers here. Like I feel like Pelipper and Mamoswine are about the same speed normally. When we don't even know if Mamo's like Scarf or anything. The good news is that they can't turn off the rain, but I need to be careful that my rain doesn't run out. Although I don't know, we'll see. Stupid ban Ferrothorn. Although I can knock off, which is pretty good. Okay, Ice Crash comes out. This is into... Pelipper, I presume. Oh, Ferrothorn. That's a lot of damage. Iron Barbs? Iron Barbs? Why does it not make contact? That's so dumb. Okay, Scald comes out. We get the Oko. Okay, I think we can win this now. I'm gonna hit this thing with Scald and then uh, Hurricane. And then... Unless they... There's almost no way for them... Yeah, so I can't... I can't lose any Pokemon this turn. Which is good. Thanks to the Focus Sash. And even though the rain will end, I'll still outspeed, um, I'll still outspeed Duraludon, so I'll be able to fire off a strong close combat there. And actually, you know what I could do? You know what I think is actually good here? Um, no, that's actually bad. I want to knock off first. I was thinking that I could max darkness the Duraludon and lower its defense, but I think taking the item is actually more valuable.
I still don't know if it's physical or special either. <laughs> I really have no idea. <laughs> I, I, have, I have, like, no idea at all. <laughs> Is it physical or special? I think it could be both. Or either, I should say. Okay, nice. No berry. Give me the burn. Nice. We take it. Max darkness. Okay. Still don't know if it's physical or special, but whatever. Defense drops. It's fine. Better then goes for a knockoff. Take the item. Choice bin knockoff. Big damage. Crit. We'll take it. Citrus berry. Okay. Cool. Range gone. In this situation, I mean, I've got, I've won basically. There's no way to lose this with close combat. I don't think Duralion gets trickery or anything. I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm just gonna knock off again. I, I know I didn't Dynamax this game. I think that's okay. Yeah, whatever. Like if I was if, if I wasn't recording or like if I was playing seriously, like a hundred percent seriously, I would definitely have Dynamaxed there. But that's okay. Because the thing is, the Dynamax animation takes a while, and I figure if I'm going to lose anyway, or win anyway, then I may as well not even bother, right? You don't need to Dynamax if you're going to win anyway. Um, I think that I did not use Dynamaxing optimally that game. I got a Comet Shard. Heck yeah. Oh, wait, I didn't want that. Okay, then it's a rental team, so I feel like I've, I've definitely seen that team before. Nice, great ball! We did it. 20 BP. It's not bad at all. We did it, guys. Only took 36 battles. To be fair, a lot of those were apples. <laughs> a lot of those a lot of those losses were I mean wins <clears throat> wins were apples. Apple games. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my gosh. I wish they gave you BP just for playing. I think that would be much better. So Great Ball implies that the opponents are better. Rank six. Wait, oh, this is very similar to the team we fought against last time. Um, let's see. I think we want to lead off with Ludic... Hmm. Ludicola Togodomaru, maybe? This is kind of tricky. Oh, Scarf Gardevoir looks kind of nice here, not going to lie. What, what moves do I have in this thing? Ah, uh, Scarf Gardevoir's not that good. Okay, Scarf Gardevoir... Barascuda looks kind of nice, with Pelipper or Ludicolo in the back. Scarf Gardevoir covers for, um, covers for Dragapult and Gyarados. Like that? I feel kind of weird doing this, but I think it's okay. I don't think they're going to be bringing Rotom Heat, although they guess they could. Oh man, they, they tried to counter-team the Apple. They tried to counter-team Apple and they made all their Pokemon male. That's so lame. This looks kind of tricky. I'm not entirely sure how Rain deals with Sand. I mean, I didn't bring either of my Steel types. That might have been dumb. I don't think Gardevoir was the right call for this in hindsight. <laughs> oh no, what if they leave Braviary Gyarados and I Trace Intimidate? And I give them a boost. That could be bad. I think Barrascute is interesting. It hits so hard. I maybe shouldn't have let it in hindsight. I don't know. I like. I do like that you can kind of... like. I feel like something that would have been better here is if I had gone for like maybe Pelipper lead and then just Dynamax Scalded turn one. Braviary Dragapult. Okay, so honestly... I could have led worse, to be honest. Like, there definitely were worse leads I could have done. Who am I tracing? Clear body would be good. Defiant. Nice. Well, at least we know it's Defiant. Um, Dazzling Gleam, Moonblast, Psy Shock. I think I Moonblast the, the Dragapult here and just fire off a... Uh... I'm going to fire off... A I'm going to Dynamax and fire off a Liquidation Liquidation here, I think. I like that because it forces them into T-Tar and means that if Braviary goes for Tailwind or something... I can outspeed uh, next turn, and I can outspeed thanks to Swift Swim. So it basically means that um, it put. I mean, I guess I didn't need to do that, but I, I really wanted Barrascuda to survive. And frankly, I don't have that many good candidates for Dynamaxing on this team. God, it's so scary. Oh my God, there's no HP. <laughs> I can still die. It's so dumb. Let's see if they Dynamaxed. Drag. Oh, it's Scarf. Okay. All right. Well, that's not great. I'll be honest. This could go pretty badly. There is one specific way in which this goes very badly. Although, it should be okay. Rotom. Alright, that's alright. I set the rain at least. This should be Tailwind, I guess. Oh, I Moonblast it. Drop, 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 drop. Stop, drop, and roll. Please, drop. Bro, are you kidding me? That's literally hacks. 
I can't believe it. This game is so bad. Okay, Scarf Dragapult. Don't let me forget that. Um. Uh. Huh. Ha ha ha. Ah. Right. Oh, all right. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know anything about Barrasquito, but I think I like it. Titar comes in. All right, that's fine. Um, I can KO Titar. I can also just KO Rotom if I want. What should I do here? KOing Rotom is fine. The thing is, he can't KO me in return. Wait, we know it's Scarf Dragapult, right? Unless, is this Gardevoir super slow? Can I check the stats? 140, no, no, it's definitely Scarf Dragapult. Wait, if it's Scarf Dragapult, then it's not Scarf Rotom. You know what I'm saying? So maybe I should just Moonblast the Titar? And Max Geyser the Rotom? Like, he, he's probably gonna Dynamax here. Uh, okay, no Dynamax. This, my one fear is kind of weak, is like weakness policy. Okay, no, no weakness policy. We just get the KO here. So, that means that that rain is up this next turn. Because Seachar can't reset it unless it goes for manual Sandstorm, which I think is unlikely. I think that also means that I should survive this hit. It also means that we know that, um, we know that Dragapult is Scarf, which is really good for us. What's it going for? What's it going for? Crunch? Iron Head? Rock Slide? Nice. I did a lot of his life for it. Okay. So, what does that mean? We probably... We need to use Barrascuta to hit um, Dragapult. How much do you guys think Max Geyser does to Dragapult? We know that it's Scarf. So, I'm going to Moonblast the Titar here. Because... Um, yeah. There's no reason. They have to Max Titar here, right? Ah, whatever. Like, of course I had other options there, but... And, like, I could... If they max Dragapult for some reason, I could lose... I could lose both my Mons, but I'll still do enough damage that I think it should be okay. I think... Because I feel like this attack is going to do, like, so much. And it would be really risky for them not to max Titar here. Although, honestly, I feel like they max Dragapult. I really feel like they max Dragapult. But I could have just KO Titar through... I could have KO Titar through, um... Through Protect. Ah... I read too much into it. I could have KO'd through Caesar through Protect. I think it's still okay because they can't reset the sand and with Pelipper Ludicolo in the back. And I also kind of have a feeling this thing is Choice Band. Anyway, we're going to fire off a... Okay, T-Tar Protected, so that wasn't my best play. Not my best play at all. This is going to do like... I feel like this is going to do like 50. I really feel like this is going to do... Actually, it might even do more. Okay, so it wouldn't have O-Code, but it did a lot of damage. <laughs> Moonblast. Wait, oh, because Scarf is gone. Oh, so... Either, oh, actually, this is really good. So either Barrascuta gets another attack off, or Barrascuta does not get another attack off. But... Bear, uh, or, sorry. Either Barrascuta gets another attack off, or Gardevoir survives. And both those are pretty good for us. So that's what we've that's what we've done here. We still have... Oh, Barrascuta is no longer Dynamax, which is not amazing. To go into Ludi here. I want to, like, Liquidation Muddy Water, but but I really don't want to miss. You know what I'm saying? Ludicolo's AV, that thing went for Max Steel. Wait, what Steel-type moves does it get? Let's Ice Beam Dragapult and... Oh, wait, we're going to... What we're going to do? We should play safe, right? We should Ice Beam Dragapult and, and Liquidation into Titar. I think that's safer. I, I, like, the better move there is... The better move there would have been... Like, if I, if Muddy Water always hit, then I would have Muddy Watered and Liquidationed into Dragapult, I think. However, Muddy Water does not always hit, so... Uh, yeah. They should do, like, half of the remaining health. A little bit more. Freeze, freeze, freeze. Max Flutterby. Okay, special attacks dropping. So this thing, I think, is banned. Based on, based on as far as I can tell. And it's plus one defense. And it has one turn left of... Um, there's one turn left of Dynamaxing, and I'm minus one. Oh wait, no, I'm neutral attack, but it's minus, it's plus one defense. So I think Liquidation will kill here. I'm just gonna Scald. Uh, Hurricane is better. 
yeah, Hurricane is better, I guess. Does more damage. Um, and I'm Sash, so there's pretty much no way for me to lose this, I think. I actually think this could kill. Yeah, okay, cool. And that's the game. Cool, so I like this team. It's a little bit too offensive and, like, not enough bulk for my taste. It's very much a kind of overwhelming style team, which is okay. I think those are good teams, for sure, but, um... Yeah, it's just, like, it feels a little... I'm, I also might not have been using it, right? I feel like this team has a ton of good leads, and then, like, it kind of struggles a bit with the back. Like, like with what to bring in the back, you know? Oh, wait, it was Scarf Dragapult. I was talking as if it was banned. It was Scarf. It just hits so hard. Um, let's just confirm that. I'm pretty sure it was Scarf, or I'm just an idiot. Yeah, it was Scarf Dragapult. Steel Wing. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I was wondering what Steel type we forgot. Um, cool. And that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um... Again, the link to the team is down in the description and the rental cards at the beginning or in the team um, description if you want to use it yourself. So shout out to Tailpoke, Tailpoke um, for the team. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. Tomorrow I intend to use, or I guess like in my next battle video, I intend to use the team that I built myself. Um, with again, I've been talking, I've been hyping up a little bit, but I really do think it has some, as one in particular, really cool um, strategy in there. So hopefully that turns out to be good. Um, but yeah. I think that's all I want to say. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video. Goodbye.